Hey, what's up guys? Tomcat here, and today I am bringing you some more Need for Speed Carbon gameplay. Uh, a lot of people liked my last Carbon video. I uh, got a pretty good response. Uh, it was some canyon racing and some canyon drifting. This time I thought I would bring you guys a sprint race that includes some cop chases and, you know, some high action racing, pretty much. And again, we're in my Mazda RX-8. Uh, I haven't unlocked a lot of new cars yet. I mean, I have one Tier 2 car right now, and that's the... Uh, Mitsubishi Eclipse, but it's not the nice one. It's not the uh, old Eclipse GSX. It's the other one, the the one that came after that, which I think is like ugly. <laughs> I think the one that came after the the I think the GSX is a beautiful car. I think the ones that came after it were absolutely like horrendously ugly. So I'm just waiting for more uh, waiting for more tier two cars. Uh, I know there are some good tier tier two cars. There's the Ford Mustang GT, uh, which I might use. There's uh, I think a couple of Mercs, um, might even be a couple of BMWs as well, I'm not sure. Uh, but yeah, I'll definitely be using uh, some more Tier 2 cars as I unlock them. Now you can see down there on the left-hand corner of the screen, my map is flashing red, just to tell me that there are cops up ahead. And boom, there's one right there. And we're in a basically a, a, a Heat 1 level cop chase, where you're getting chased by, you know, regular normal police cruisers. So... This is kind of a low-level uh, cop chase. Not much is going to happen. There aren't really any roadblocks or, or things like that. Uh, you're mainly just getting chased by, you know, two or three cruisers at a time in these kind of chases. But as you get up in the in the heat levels, uh, the chases get crazy. I remember back when I played through this game on the PS2, and there was one chase where I literally went through uh, all of the heat levels. And uh, all the way up to, I think it was, I think it's heat level 5, maybe 6, I'm not sure. It's been a long time since I've been in one of those cop chases. And right there, one of my favorite things to use, the freaking Pursuit Breakers. I love those in Most Wanted, and I love them in this game. They are absolutely, like, I don't know, they add something cool to the game. They add, like, that cool uh, dynamic of adding another way to escape the cops. It, may, it just adds a little more action to the game. And I like a game to have variety, I like it to have action and options and stuff you know like a lot of games with cops in it you just you know you just outrun the cops there's no way to like disable them and i like the fact that most wanted the original most wanted and carbon actually allowed you to use the in-game environment to uh disable the cops and i thought i don't know it's pretty cool i mean some people liked them some people were like and eh, whatever i liked them i think they're pretty cool <laughs> uh, now we're actually this is one of the races where we were, I believe, uh, one of the earlier races in my career, and in my career mode, and uh, counting where I am now in the game, we're actually quite close to racing, uh, I think his name is Kenji, in his RX-7, and that's going to be a pretty good race, because what I'll, bleh, bleh, that didn't <laughs> sound right, what I'll be able to do is I'll be able to get his car, and win his car, and I believe the RX-7 is a Tier 2 car, so it'll automatically give me uh, a really, really, really good Tier 2 car if I beat him. And I'll definitely uh, definitely make sure to record that uh, the Canyon Duel with him, because I think it'll definitely make for an entertaining video. And like I said, I know you guys love these Carbon videos, so uh, I'll bring you as many as I possibly can. As well as focusing on bringing Hot Pursuit 2 back, but like I said, I can't do that until uh, until I get an external hard drive. I need more space to record those videos. Uh, so we're about, uh, we're um, almost to the end of the race. There's a cop right there. We just go right past him. We almost hit him, almost hit that van too. This corner is a little tricky because it seems like it's going to be tight, but then it opens up and it's actually a lot wider than you think it is. And then you can actually boost right out of it and across the finish line. So if you guys enjoyed that video, then do not forget to click that like button. Tell me in the comment section below what you thought of it. And if you're new to my channel, don't forget to click that subscribe button for more Need for Speed Carbon, Hot Pursuit 2, Forza 4, Forza Horizon, Forza 5 News, and more. Talk to you guys later.